The Ryerson Architectural Science Building contains 13 teaching spaces, five studio spaces, four critique rooms, two classrooms, and two lecture theaters. All studio spaces, excluding the graduate studio, are built with an open concept. Multiple teachers will teach within the same space with minimal to no physical dividers. This creates a noisy environment heightened by an open connection to the building's central atriums and exposed HVAC systems. In addition, studio spaces lack proper garbage disposal and adequate amount of power outlets to be used by each student. Critique rooms are essentially just empty rooms. They lack a focused presentation area, any fixed furniture such as seating, and any presentation tools such as desks for models. All critique spaces are noisy due to open connections to hallways and studio spaces with the exception of one space. The architecture building contains two lecture theaters, the pit and room 108. The pit is a dim, acoustically dead room with non-fixed seating placed on a flat plane. Room 108 is a brighter environment containing two central projectors, fixed seating placed on a linear plane, digressing towards the front of the room. Each room contains microphones and a computer within the teacher's podiums, allowing the teachers to properly present their classes. Each room suffers from a lack of power outlets for note-intensive classes. The Melbourne School of Design building is comprised of eight teaching spaces four studio spaces, two lecture theatres, a studio hall, and one main critique space. These spaces are shared by the University of Melbourne's Bachelors of Environments program and various graduate design programs, ranging from the studies of architecture to property value. The building was designed to function as a study tool for students. Various structural components are left exposed. Innovative use of sustainable practices and materials are present throughout the building and is highlighted by a central studio space built from the top down. The building contains one main critique room, which also functions as an exhibition space. The room contains a dedicated pin-up wall, a desk for models, and a whiteboard. All inclusions have been designed to fit an entire class worth of work.